keeps the animals in line? Who makes sure the plants all grow? Who keeps the waters clean? Who keeps this jungle of a jungle running? The Ape Council. Starring Benji, Old Mangaroon, Horse Dad, and Penny. Powers, they've got them. Telepathy. Telekinesis. Teleporting. Teleridiculing. The Ape Council. <laughs> wow, best movie of year. It's the only movie you've seen this year, and it's not even a movie. You're right. It's more of a documentary biopic. Now, enough lounging around. There's work to be done. Oh, no. I sense those awful reptilians are conspiring to overthrow the Ape Council. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. Oh, no. You must disperse them from this sweet swimming hole immediately for the jungle's sake. Okay, me do. But it's for jungle's sake, Ape. We'll check the refreshing waters and make sure they're safe. <laughs> Success! Uh, animals! Oh. George, you must stop those terrible, terrible rhinoceri! Rhinoceroses? They're consuming all this helpless grass! Uh, but... Does grass not feel love, sadness, ambition? Infuriate the rhinos and lead them away from here! Quickly now! <sighs> right away, sir. <laughs> we must examine the terrible damage those beasts caused. Bring forth the inspection tools! <laughs> What now? Have your eyes gone insane? Those are yellow death boomerangs! <gasps> no, they're bad. Bad, yes, they're bad. Imagine if small children got their paws on those. Imagine! <gasps> what we do? Gather them as quickly as you can, then blend them into a fatal beverage, which we will consume, risking our lives to keep everyone else safe. This is ridiculous. We're not going to be Jungle King and Mentor for much longer if this threat isn't dealt with immediately! The poison! Hey, shall defeat it? Look, look, look. We are victorious! No thanks to your tomfoolery, but I will grant you a chance to redeem yourselves. See those trees? No. Yes. Oh, yes. They must be removed, vanquished, exterminated. Our new Ape Counts Hall will be built there. We'll hold big sales, computer classes, fun fairs, all for the good of the jungle. Why does it have so many change rooms? Why are you so nosy? Anyway, blah, 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 it's above your pay grade. Now hop to it and clear that land. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I'm good at this. Yes, you are. So good, we're almost finished. Just two more trees. One. One more tree. Here we go. Please, please don't. Who oh, say the holy banana? Shocking mold. That, that can't be. Oh, it's only a sloth. Sorry, moldy sloth. We need to smash down tree with face. You can't. He really can. It's a gift. I've hung from this tree for a thousand years, and I can never let go. Here, me help. Wow, Moldy Sloth really stuck. It's okay. 
George talked to Council. He's sure they understand. What? So sloth there for very long time, he's stuck. So maybe we may call somewhere else. Oh, he's stuck? He no wanna move? Do you want the jungle to go hungry? Hungry for computer classes? No? And we're already paying the contractors! No. Please? <sighs> I'll go get a sloth wrench. You want baby animals not have fun fairs and bake sales? If I let go, they won't have anything except gravy. <laughs> Sound like you say gravy. I did. Oh. What? Come closer. 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 <laughs> <laughs> One thousand years ago, a too smart for his own good ape found something mysterious. Little did he know it was a gateway. A gateway to a dimension of terrible evil and gravy. Finally free, the evil gravy threatened to devour the jungle. Seven sloth heroes bounded together to battle the gravy. But it could not be defeated. Only contained through the power of hugs. Hundreds of years passed, and now I'm the only one left. <laughs> if you remove me from this tree, then our sacrifice will have been in vain, and the jungle will once again be in mortal danger. Wow. Why do you no say anything? Uh, I've tried, but no one believes me. Hmm. You promise you tell George truth? Absolutely not! I told you. But Coconut, you believe his ridiculous story? Evil gravy? That doesn't make any sense! This sloth is just lazy and doesn't want to move his lazy limbs somewhere else. So move his lazy limbs somewhere else pronto! Oh. Me sorry, but Ape Council give big order to George, and George must do what he told. No, don't! Oh, we'll be lost. Please, please believe me. Oh, no cry, Slothy Sloth. George believe you? <gasps> no. What'd I just say? You said... George, no. George say he believe you about gravy. And me do, but George's supposed to do what Ape Council say. George, have you done what the Ape Council said to do yet? Ape, uh, George have friend who must decide between believe crazy old sloth and doing what Ape Council say. So, what George do? George, as long as I've known you, you've had a good heart. What's it telling you now? Slip dump, slip dump, slip dump. Wow, we should really get that looked at ASAP. But for right now, you need to just follow it. Follow your heart and... George, believe Sloth. Slip them. What? Did this Sloth offer any proof of his ludicrous conjecture? Yes, he cry a little. Out of the way, Jungle King. That's an order. No. God. Me mean... No! Leave Sloth alone! He holds back ancient evil gravy! And me believe him! And if George believes him, then so do I! You're both fired! If we're fired, then we don't have to listen to you any longer. Yeah! How about you listen to a psychic mind blast? Do it! Do it! Not care! Bah! He's too mindless for a mind blast! But that's why we brought rhinos. Good, sorry, rhinos. Good, be careful not to hurt you. Ah, jungle hamsters, attack! Ah, there. Good for both ape and hamsters. George, no move. So maybe we just shake hands and be friends again? Honey badgers, jerk lemmings, electric eels! <laughs> just give up already! Uh, you're going to ruin the
open the ape count hall for everyone. Hmm. <gasps> We're never going to get our spa built with Monkey Man in the way! <gasps> building a council hall? You're building a council spa! But why here? Because of the view, you dumbwit! You think I want to stare at some lemur's butt when I get my manicures? <laughs> Free Shiatsu if you don't turn on us! <laughs> Jungle King, you saved the entire jungle from a terrible evil. Ah, you're welcome. And you believed me. No one ever believed me before. Come here. Mmm, something smells meaty. Oh, poop. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's George, King of the Jungle. George always helps others. He's what you call a giver, and he's had quite a day of giving. First, negotiations between the Ape and Banana Councils broke down and got ugly. Real ugly. <laughs> Magnolia needed help with her research. I was studying interspecies dating, but the couples wouldn't stay together. <laughs> so I used an eensy weensy bit of glue. Or maybe more than that. <laughs> yes, sir, George gives. And gives. And gives some more. And all he gets in return? Pain, agony, and punishment. Five minutes, okay? George need break. Oh, George, deal with evil son later. Go away, soundtrack. Not listening. La, 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 George, la, 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 la. the shaking, the sky, the music. With no time to lose, George and Ape consult the all-knowing Ape Council. With the strike over, we can once again consult the banana bits of fate. What banana bits of fate say? Behold, the future! Is that a skull? It's hard to tell. Wait, it's changing. It's the volcano! That's neat! The volcano! George, defend jungle home! Helping. Can we try something else? Stop already! George, defeated? Could this be it? Has George given his last? Is it the end of the jungle? George? Esteban passes to Hernandez and goal! What? Just working on my reel? Some of us will need a new job after this episode. George, what? What is it? Get the Steve. Yeah, I thought I heard my beautiful name. I was just exploring the Earth's molten inner Steve when I felt my ego get a little bigger. Steve, jungle needs you. That's flattering, but oh yeah, I'm evil. Weasel heart, remember? Man, I love watching this jungle burn. It Council, use mind powers! Yuck! Hey, ungrab the steam! Uh, you can't do this to my perfectly sculpted body! It's a crime against Pilates! George, are you sure about this? Yes, Steve a jerk. 
But he's smart and strong and one of us. Deep down, Steve loved jungle. I hate the jungle. This is wrong. We can't do this. It's our only hope. Do it now. Let's get this party started. George's golden heart flooded Steve's evil body with mushy, warm feelings. Do we have to? Heck no. George will be fine without a heart. Oh, wait. He died. Get in there! Phew. <laughs> That's the hardest 30 seconds of surgery I've ever done. Steve feels good! Look out, Lava Monster. Steve's coming to save the jungle. Sure, Steve was filled with goodness, but George was supercharged by pride, ambition, and weaselly weaselness. George! George! Man, good thing I don't have a license. <laughs> this is exactly the kind of thing they take it away for. The Steve. Maybe you've heard of me? I'm kind of a big deal. Ah! Whoa! Did he just... He did it! George saved us all again! In the most awesome way possible. You probably wonder why George saved Jungle from Lava Monster. George! But George wonder why he save it over and over when all George get in return is Big Bobo. Big Bobo's. A good question. George saved Jungle one last time so he can destroy Jungle for himself. <gasps> That's the weasel talking. He tries so hard to talk like human, act like human, but it's just smelly apu not fit in anywhere. Wow. He nailed you! George? But why? So Magnolia, go home and admit she total failure. Stuff that in microscope and write paper on it. Zing! Busted! George free! <laughs> Ursula only want to be animal because Ursula terrible at being person. Oh, what does Ursula do? Bite George on face? Use claws? Bite George on face again? Huh? 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 What is Ursula gonna do? <laughs> Faced with the George Apocalypse, an assembly of all jungle animals gathered to save their home. Our king turns against us. We must activate the self-destruct and purge the jungle with nuclear fire. <laughs> On three, turn and activate. Wait, that's what we're trying to prevent. Your point is? You'll be destroyed too. What? Uh, oh yes, totally. Destroying our home isn't the answer. George saved us all over and over again. It's time for the jungle to save George. I don't know. It sounds like a lot of effort. Our plan's like just one button. Beep, boom. Yeah. We'll take a vote. Uh, democracy's the worst. Who wants to save George? Who wants to blow everything up and start over? It's a tie! We win! Oh, an eight councillor vote is worth ten other animals for some reason. If you don't like the rules, go live in someone else's jungle. The Steve will vote. A king's vote is worth ten times ten. A million. 
That's not allowed! Steve is a jungle citizen. I may be stronger, smarter, and normally much more evil than any of you. But as George would say, me from jungle too. The Steve votes to save the George. Uh, we never get to nuke anything! George, weasel heart or not, we know you're a good person. George not good, George bad. Duh. No! Nobody wanted to end the season this way, but... Cue the sappy flashback! And through the incredible power of editing and sappy music, George was reminded just how much he loved his jungle home. George! Hey, jerk weasel! It's George's friend! Get out of George, weasel! George have heart again? It's back where it belongs. But Steve need heart too. I had a spare hippo heart. And as everyone knows, hippos are lawful neutral. Steve can be whoever he wants to be now. The Steve has a lot of learning to do about the Steve. But jungle, me destroy it. It'll regrow. Until then, things will be a little crowded. 